Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and I'm reviewing Brawl in Cell Block 99. It stars Vince Vaughn, a former boxer named Bradley loses his job as an auto mechanic, and his troubled marriage is about to expire. At this crossroads in his life, he feels that he has no better opinion than to work for an old buddy as a drug courier. This improves his situation until the terrible day that he finds himself in a gunfight between a group of police officers and his own ruthless allies. When the smoke clears, Bradley is badly hurt and thrown in prison, where his enemies force him to commit acts of violence that turn the place into a savage battleground. From the director of Bone Tomahawk, Brawl in Cell Block 99 stars Vince Vaughn, Jennifer Carpenter, Udo Kier, and Don Johnson. It is... A little over two hours. I think uh, it's a little long than it needs to be. It's It doesn't have a rating, but you almost have to put an R on it for sure. Um, yeah. So. Oh, and uh, yeah, it's 2017. I'm just going to say this, that uh, for this movie, I was very much brought to be aware of it because it was put on people's, like, list of greatest movies for 2017. I hadn't heard of it. I didn't know Vince Vaughn ever did a movie like this. And so I was willing to give it a chance and I was expecting good things because of the being put on people's list from last year. Uh, it's, I understand what people are saying about it and how they think it was so good and such a different thing for Vince Vaughn and the quality of the movie. I understand all that. I just don't see eye to eye with people saying it was one of the greatest movies of the year. So I'm going to get in my notes here. Um, it kind of falls under these guidelines that the first 10 minutes, maybe give it the first half an hour. Uh, the back of the movie case there, I think, tells a little bit too much of the story. I think they could just say, you know, Bradley has a great job until things turn sour and he's thrown in jail. Just keep it simple. But it, t it tells us all that and it kind of ruins it. And it takes a little while, maybe a little too long with some unnecessary stuff to explain how and why he goes to prison. There's a couple scenes where they're just kind of sitting across from each other talking like this very solemnly and then he has a scene where he says he doesn't want his wife coming to the hearing uh it's all it, it i guess it's all credible but it just is a little slow and there's got to be a scene or two that they could have cut out and we would have been just fine knowing that he's going to prison like we understand that's why i got to say the common sense in me, there's a chance for him not to go to prison, and obviously this movie wouldn't exist if he made that choice in the movie, but it seems kind of stupid that he didn't just walk away. I am the only, the only point of view I can have is that the reason why he decides to take care of these guys that are a problem is because... He figures a life in jail of honorableness is better than running away and being hunted down for the rest of his life. I, that's the only thing I can think of. So, But to the rest of us, the fact that you can walk away from a situation seems like you probably should. So, The next thing I wrote down was that... 
the fact that he does go to prison for this situation, like how he gets caught, is this shootout. And like I said, he could walk away, but he involves himself. And I'll let you figure out what happens in that. But that scene is so boring. You have a couple points in your movie that you can build up to. This movie has about four situations that it gets to build up to. And this is kind of the first one. Maybe second. And you are handling it so bad to have him just, you know, like walk up to a guy that's being shot at by the police. I mean... There's got to be better ways to handle things. I just thought the way they handled this was a little slow and boring. I don't know. It's just it's just how I feel. Like I said, this is a very intriguing story, but I think it's just the right word for it. It's a very unique, intriguing, kind of different story. We've seen it before with crime dramas and uh, gangster movies, but... You know, people getting, uh, you know, taken out and buried and, you know, that that kind of stuff is fine. But this is kind of a different twist on it. And it's a, uh, kind of a survival story I, of sorts, I guess. Um, I don't want to ruin anything for anybody if you haven't seen this because I feel like a lot of people haven't quite yet. I think it's making its rounds and people are starting to hear about it. But... The whole plot of the movie, not the character's story or anything, but the plot of the movie is for him to do things in jail to find somebody. And it ends up that that's not the case. And that was very, very disappointing. They kind of shrug it off as a joke, but this isn't like a jokey movie. And so I was just kind of mad when it happened. And so I hope I'm not the only one that feels like that, but I kind of felt like it should have had some resolution or something. Like maybe he finds the guy and then kills him, and then he, he still has to go to the next level. But the fact that this guy doesn't exist is just kind of stupid to me. And then during the about three fourths of the way through the movie, I wrote this down uh, with question marks to see if they were going to have any resolution. This guy named Gil, the guy from the jail, the wife, and the ending. I was wondering how all those were going to turn out or if they were going to have any resolution. Gil, yes, because towards the end of the movie Gil resurfaces and it has some resolution that's great okay I was kinda of wondering if it was gonna connect it or not this other guy from the jail I was wondering what was gonna to happen to him I guess you'll find out but it does have some conclusion the wife yes it brings her back in the ending but I would have accepted a couple storylines where she actually realized what's going on. They, they play her off to be really stupid after this whole situation. And she, I mean, she goes through a, a situation for herself, but I would have accepted something saying, oh, I'll be fine, you know, don't worry about me, or something like that. Uh, she plays it off to be so stupid and dense that we don't know what's going to happen to her in the future. You know, is she just going to get kidnapped again or killed because of what his actions were. I mean, this movie's all about people need to pay for their, you know, stuff that they've done. What about the wife in the future? We're just kind of left wondering that, and I don't appreciate that. And then, other than that, uh, well, I mean, not like I would want the ending different for her. I just would have accepted a line or two, having her know that she's going to be alone in life or something. But the ending, they could have gone a couple different ways, and they decided to go the way that is almost like a horror film from 20 years ago or something. And I, I would have accepted them being so real in this movie 
that they just handcuff him and you know maybe fast forward to when he's having the death sentence or something getting the electric chair or something but the way they ended it was just so unsatisfactory I would advise people to watch this movie but I just think the ending was so god awful I was like don't do it excuse me I just thought the ending was so god awful that they could have gone any other way and they decided to go the way they did that I just can't believe it. I was like, don't do it, don't do it, and they did it. And I can't do anything about that when it comes to my grade. So this movie is going to be a B. It's just going to be. It's very good for Vince Vaughn. I think a lot of the stuff that people say is oh, amazing is very easy for most actors to pull off. Um, fight sequences and stuff are cool. I'm not really sure how Vince Vaughn learned that or how long it took him to learn that, but that's cool. But a lot of all this other stuff of laying in a bed, you know, and that's his routine and, uh, staring, talking to somebody like this. It's, it's not hard. So I don't know if he got any award in little independent circuits or not, but this is a good movie. It's an amazing, tense, dramatic, you know, very gory almost movie. It just does not deliver in the places that I want it to, and it would have connected it so much better, and then I would have really put it on one of my list of great movies uh, in the last year or so. So, B for Brawl Sec. Brawl and Cell Block 99, and that's it for me. I guess that's enough for this one. I just, I was, I was really into the movie. I didn't write anything down for about an hour. It's just really kind of compelling. So, put this on your list to watch, guys. And that's it for me. I'm Danny. If you like this video or any of my other reviews, please hit like and subscribe, and enjoy your movies. Thanks.